Springtime is still a few months off, but one nonprofit wants you to start thinking about the bike riding season. There are a lot of kids in our area who can't afford to buy a bike, so now there is a way, though, that you can help. This is a terrific program. Andy Quant from Free Bikes for Kids joins us now to tell us about this program, this problem that you want to solve. Good morning. Good morning. So we were talking before we started, just this idea and how kind of this all came to you that you wanted to provide kids with bikes that they couldn't afford. Right, yeah, my summer job is owning and operating the bike mobile. It's a mobile bike shop, and I was in a lot of garages over the summer, and there were a lot of people that were trying to give me their kids' old bikes, and I didn't really have an outlet for them. Um, and then in with the discussions with people in the bicycling community here, um, they asked, what are you going to do over the winter? And I said, I'd like to get involved with something with advocacy. Um, it was turned on to free bikes for kids. So I went to Minneapolis and saw what they were doing up there, and right away it was such a good fit. And I said, we got to bring this to Madison. So. Since then, we've been working on getting a chapter started here. Yeah, we're seeing some video right now of some of the bikes going out uh, in other areas. I mean, what about this community did you think when you heard about this program? Like, yes, this is going to work. This would absolutely work here in this area. Well, I think as we just heard, you know, you need a community that really supports cycling. Mm -hmm. Minneapolis is a great city for that. Madison is just a smaller version of that. Um, I reached out to the community um, around and asked, is there a need for these bikes? And the Boys and Girls Club said, yes, definitely we could use these bikes. Um, I got a couple of good people on board and we said, let's go for it. So Andy, I have three young kids and I know the look in their face when they <laughs> first got their bike. I guess, can you kind of put it into context what, you know, if you're successful with this, what that's going to feel like when you actually are able to give them away? Yeah, that was really neat. I went up to Minneapolis for their big bike giveaway and I saw the kids getting their bikes and that's really what this is about. And it's about the families too. Sometimes the parents need bikes and the kids need their parents to have the bikes in order to go out as a family. And we're creating that opportunity for people that wouldn't normally have that opportunity and that's really what this is all about. In Minneapolis, they do 5,000 bikes a year. Wow. <laughs> My goal um, is to collect 1,000 bikes on Saturday. Um, that's just a personal goal I have, and I'm looking for all the help I can get to accomplish that. But I think Madison's market could support um, 2,000 bikes a year. Let's talk a little bit about more about how people can help. So this Saturday, you're looking for donations. Correct. On Saturday from 9 to 1, um, there's seven different SSM health locations mm -hmm. where people can donate their bikes, gently used bikes, um, kids' bikes, adult bikes, any kind of bikes, we'll take them on donation. Um, then for the next two months, there's volunteer opportunities. We'll have a team of volunteers along with some professional mechanics like myself to clean the bikes and refurbish them. And then in March, um, through different community partners like the Boys and Girls Club, we'll be giving them all away. Um, and SSM Health has agreed to provide helmets for each bike that gives away. So each kid gets fitted to a helmet as well. Very cool. You have a website if yes. people want more information? FB4KMadison.org. Um, we need uh, donations, both uh, bicycles and finances, and um, volunteer opportunities can be found there. FB 4K, the, letter, yep. the number four. Yes, FB Free bikes number, for kids. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Madison.org. Andy, uh, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thank you so good much for having me. Yeah, good luck. We'll have to catch back up with you in March, you for bet. sure. Thank you.